steps into the last of our semi-finals this afternoon. And what a match it is. The current Olympic champions in the mixed doubles, Lee Yongdae and Lee Ho Jung, up against the two-time former world champions, Nova Widianto and Liliana Natsia. Koreans, the Olympic champions, the number three seeds here at this centenary All England Championships. Neon Day, just 21 years of age. His partner more experienced at the age of 29. Of course, Olympic gold medals. But for Lee Ho Jung, also a silver medal in the Beijing Olympics, having reached the final of the women's doubles with Lee Kyon Won. Looking at their path through to the semi final. Well, of course, their quarter final victory over Anthony Clark and his new partner, Heather Olver, in two straight games. It was actually the first round where they had the most difficult match, where they dropped the opening game against Liao Ming Chung and Chen Wen Sing of Taipei. But since then, have been looking very impressive indeed. So do the Indonesians, Nova Widianto, 32 years of age. His partner, Liliana Natsia, 24, born in Manado, North Sulawesi. World ranking this week has gone up to number one. And of course, when the seedings were done, their ranking was down at number two, and that's where they're seeded. First round match against Kukian Kiat and Wong Petit, the 2006 World Championship bronze medalists, and they needed three games there to beat the Malaysians. But since then, have won in two straight games, including the quarter-final last night against Nathan Robertson, former champion, of course, with Gail Ems, but with his new partner, Jenny Warwick. Two tough games there. Paul Buffum from England. Here's a Marampa. Marcel Schormans from the Netherlands. A service judge. who was absolutely superb in the quarterfinals yesterday with her defensive play against Nathan Robertson and Jenny Warwick. Nathan Robertson was thundering down smashes at her and just calmly as you like was just returning the shuttle and then would suddenly guide it across court and move forward to the net. Typical style of the Indonesian players, the relaxed, easy hitting style. Really looked rushed on court. Champions get the semi final underway. Oh! Champions, the far side of the court. Oh! As far as the Indonesians are concerned, this is a real grudge match because oh, this is a repeat of the Olympic final in Beijing, where obviously the Koreans beat them. So, my goodness, with Nova Widianto about to disappear into retirement from international competition. He's playing the All England and the Swiss Open, and then he will no longer be playing with Lillian and Atsia. This is his last chance to take the All England title. Show's over. One all. But when you look at their previous head-to-head -head meetings, it's the Koreans who have a better advantage, having won three of their previous four encounters. <laughs> 
do you see the Koreans as favourites here? I do, particularly with Lee, uh, Lee and I having lost in the men's doubles. I think there's a feeling on the circuit that um, men's is his preferred event, but when the men's doesn't go well, you see him put a little bit more into the mix. And I think that's what that was a little bit the effect in the Olympics as well. He had a surprisingly uh, early exit of the men's doubles and he was able to concentrate on the mix and played incredibly well in that event. Service over. Two all. And I think we'll see this quite often with the Indonesians. Liliana Natsi are more than happy to take her responsibility at the back of the court. Service over. Thank you, Jin, Three, Korean two. coach. World Championship bronze medalist Copenhagen in 89, I think it was. Oh. I actually played mixed doubles with him, you know. Four, Korean two. Open one, yeah. yeah. With success? Yes, I think we did do reasonably well. Bit of a communication problem, I have to say. How good you, Korean? Hopeless. No. That's lovely. Using her height so well, she's a very tall lady, one five, meter eighty-one. That's five foot eleven. Getting a racket in the way, just tapping the shuttle down. Very little pace, so it comes down so steeply. talking yesterday so in about the defensive Three, uh, problems that Lee Hua Jung has. I think she has a real weakness on defence. I think she has a, she gets far too committed one side or the other. There you could see the first one she defended backhand stance and then when they put it down her forehand side she simply couldn't deal with it. Uh, that's the accepted way of playing her, trying to switch her in attack and putting one or two drop shots in front of her to make a move as well. She uses the height advantage very well at the net, but in defence, it just makes her a little bit flat-footed. as you talked about yesterday with the defense of the Indonesian pair we're going to get a lot of that type of rally in this match Total commitment of Lee Ho Jung. Managed to extend the rally. Lee Ho Jung is another one of the top players that suffered a little bit after Beijing. The qualifying year for the games is very, very interesting. a lot of tournaments and obviously a lot of training for the preparation for the games and she's had one or two injury problems since then and it looks as though the Koreans have decided to 
drop the doubles event for and let her concentrate a little bit more on the mixed doubles. Yes, that's, that's absolutely correct. And, and the injury problems that she's had is, is a very bad back problem. Deep in the corner. Eight, four. Oh. 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 No, we're just running out of patience there and trying the trying the uh, low percentage cross smash there and getting caught with a straight reply. quality absolutely superb Service over. so far no, nova's Ten, not really found five. a way of getting through from the rear court and uh, he's just running out of patience a little bit the longer the rallies are going the more he's trying to force maybe just needs to use a bit more variety and put one or two drops in and maneuver the koreans around a bit before hitting the full smash 287 kilometers an hour that's 178 miles per hour Hello. service over Six, ten. You're just picking up on your point there, Ian. Of course, if, if he put a few more drops in, that would get his partner forward to the net more, because at the moment, she's not really taking on Lee Ho Jung at the front of the court. Lee Ho Jung has really got the freedom just to control things from, from the net area. Yeah, absolutely. The harder that Nova's so hitting it, the quicker it's coming back, and Max here just can't get in the game at the moment. So. I think the coaching will re revolve around that, just Nova being a little bit more patient and trying to get his partner in in the front of the court and try and take, take the tall Korean girl on a little bit, try and make her change direction a little bit and we can just switch tactics a little bit. The winners, what is extraordinary with that statistic is the fact that the Indonesians have only hit one winning shot. 20 seconds. They're struggling as far as the score is concerned. 20 seconds. It's 11 down in this opening game. Certainly the Korean tactic seems to be to isolate Nova in the rear court and cut Natsir out of the game so far. 11 seconds. See if the Indonesians Play. can come up with a way of countering that now. Court there for Lee Yong Day. Oh! Service over. Seven twelve. Oh, that's 
beautiful. What a difference when she goes forward. She can then just play those little, lovely little Eight, guided 12. shots where she just pushes the shuttle into the mid-court area, getting it past the woman at the net and making the shuttle land in front of Lee Yong Day at the back of the court. Perfect shot for mixed doubles. Extraordinary shot from Lee Yong Day managing to get that first one back. And having set up his partner, they're making a hideous error. One call, please. Court needing to be mopped of the perspiration. Lee. Three gold medals at the World Junior Championships, Lee Yong Day, back in 2006. Do you know what Yong Day means? No, no idea. Great figure. I think it's a very suitable name. What? Certainly, with the titles, he's already won in badminton at the age of 20. He could become a great figure in badminton history. Yeah. Involved in the net, and that's what we noticed yesterday when this Indonesian pair were playing against Nathan Robertson and Jenny Warwick. When she did actually go forward, Liliana Natsia was superb. Certainly, so since the coaching break, uh, Nova's been able to get Natsia more involved in the game, and that's been the big difference, I think. That's why the scores has closed up so much. First place from Lee Ho Jong. 15 12. Mm, playing a lovely little dinky shot with her backhand. <laughs> Just guiding the shuttle down so steeply. Yet again, Lee Hall. Service over. 
Going for the first defence. is not only getting Liliana Natsia forward more often, but they're also now really pressurizing Lee Ho Jung, pushing her back off the net. No! The Indonesian's back level. Yes, and I think the point you're making there 15. is that they've, they've forced the Korean girl off the net, they're playing around the body. And what that means is that Lee Yun Dai, when the shuttle's coming up, whereas at the beginning of the game he was very, very patient, now he feels he's got to try and win the points. And there we're seeing one or two errors creeping into his game. her every time they get an opportunity to attack. Yeah, and the difference 16, from the beginning of the set 15. there is Nova put the drop shot in first to make a move and then Korta coming back off the net around the body. Much better than just attacking directly with the first attack. So four straight points have taken them into the lead, the Indonesians. Interception at the net from Nova Woody Anto on his backhand side. 15. That's the one. Five straight points now. That's super. I have to say, she does use the mid-court area very well. When she does 16, get forward to the net, Lee Ho-Jung, she can push and just guide the shuttle into those mid-court areas just like that. And that's just such good tactics for mixed doubles. No serve is short of the mark. So it's over. 18, 16. mixing it up and 19, that means the 16. Korean girl can't get into a good solid defensive position she's not sure if it's going to be the drop or the smash and really struggling a little bit defensively now towards the end of this set from Liliana Natsia. She drove that smash back from Lee on day. 20, game immediately point, moved forward. 16. And it means that the Indonesians have been trailed for so long in this opening game. Now have four game points. Oh. No. Now take it the first opportunity. 21-16, having been 12-15 down. 21-16. Nine of the next ten points won by the Indonesians. 
20 minutes needed for that opening game. And it's going to the number two seeds, 21-16. Seconds, 20 seconds. Well, the Indonesian pair, I know this is their last opportunity before the retirement of Nova Widianto, and they're playing with a real commitment and passion. Second game, love all, play. <laughs> Olympic champions have got some work to do now. Having dropped that opening game. Well, they had the Koreans in all sorts of trouble. But they just couldn't capitalise on that. Anto just indicating to the umpire that he wanted to change his racket. I don't think he had broken a string. Maybe just not happy with the grip. Certainly something wrong with it that he didn't like. Massive start from the Indonesians at the start of this second set. Prepared to give the attack away, being quite passive. Nets here a long way off the net again as she was at the start of the first set. Just need to get the concentration back here. Turn of serve, set up the rally. Service over, 5 1.
big, big gap down the centre of the court. And that was well spotted by Lee Yong Day. Early. It bounced off the top of the tape. And no, Woody Anto didn't even move. Very good start to the second game by the Olympic champions. 8-1. Let's not forget, of course, though, that they were 6-2 up in the open game and they didn't win that. goes through your head as a as a coach Ian when you see players suddenly going so passive and and defending the whole time even if they've got very very good defenses D does it make you frustrated yeah particularly when you've got a player of Nova's uh, Nova's years of experience um, it's a very surprising situation the start of the second set because although the Koreans have played well and started well it's the Indonesians that have just Settled, has taken a step back off the net, Three, they've given the eight. net away and really lost control of the match, which which at the end of the first set they looked as though they'd really found a way to to control it. <laughs> Again, Nova, Nova happy to let the shuttle come to him and then Nine, try the block, which lives gives Liam Day the opportunity to move forward the whole time, rather than Nova stepping onto the shuttle as he was at the end of the first set. they've won the point and that's here well off the net again and that's that's not the way for the Indonesians to control this match they need a much closer to the net to control and use the little touches and the change of direction that she's so good at and Nova uses some different angles. You see Nats here at the front of the court. Then they look like the ex-world champions Five, that they are. Nine. But even at the start of that rally, very, very passive in defence, I still feel. It's very unusual to see two clears in a rally at this level, semi-final of a major championship. And slight, still slightly passive if I was the coach. I'd still be a little bit worried if I was coaching the Indonesian pair. I'd like to see them stepping up the court and trying to take control of the rallies. Woodyanto, not entirely surprised by that, not really coming forward 
that often at all. I did say at the start of the match that he could come forward because Liliana Natsir is more than happy to play a few from the back of the court. Now that's interesting, that for, for both the Korean players to come forward the same amount and play winners from the front of the court just shows what a balanced pair they are. Clearly, Lee and Day has got enormous confidence in his more, more experienced partner. And he's very happy when he gets up to the midcourt to continue the movement forward if he's in a good position because he's got such confidence in his more experienced partner in the rear court. in progress, seven, seven, the more six, ten. concerned Lee Ho Jung seems to get that they're not winning rallies quicker. And that's when she start, starts trying to really go for a special shot, and that's when she makes the errors. Yes, I think that's, I think that's a good comment. And the Indonesians there are just starting to step the tempo up a little bit, just trying to pick some points up before this coaching break and stay in touch. Using a reach, deflecting the shuttle down as the steep Interval. angle. There's no reply to that type of shot. So a five-point advantage for the Olympic champions at the mid-game interval in this second game. But let's not forget, at the mid-game interval in the first game, it was exactly the same scoreline in favour of the Koreans, and they couldn't close out that opening game. errors for the team more errors than winners. That's not a good sign as far as the Koreans are concerned. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Mm, mm, same problem for Liliana Natsia. More errors than winners. Not quite as drastic. So the Indonesians are going to try and push on here. Here playing with a younger partner after playing with the experienced Nova for so many years. Nova's a guy that produces exceptional angles, changes of direction, and he's quite a special mix player. He's got a very individual style. I think it may take time for her to form a new partnership with a player. Yes, of course, she's going to be playing with Devin Lahadi for 3 one Now, what's the problem here? The umpire, Paul Buffon, just calling for the tournament referee. Charlotte Ackerman coming forward. Lee. And the doctors come onto court as well. Dr. Ashwin Patel. Concern perhaps about Leon Day's 
arm. He's had terrible problems with his elbow. You can see all the strapping there. I think we're all right. I think it's just needing a, a plaster on perhaps a little graze on his finger there. Yeah, on his thumb, I think. soon as the good smash had gone down so from her partner, Liliana Natsi's defensive shot had to come back straight. And she was ready to intercept. That was perfection. So over. Nine, 13. Oh. Yeah. Change of pace when she stands her ground at the front so of the court. Over. My goodness, what a difference it makes. Did well to reach that, actually. This Korean pair only formed their partnership in 2007. They're only really playing regularly on the tour for the last couple of years. And yet, within that time, they've won nine major titles. Seven finals last year. Including four titles, that was pretty impressive. Oh, yes. She's a powerful hitter from the back of the court. Service over. 14 10. Clever play. Channel attack down the center. Service over. Good variety, good change of pace as well. 11, Great 14. in the uncertainty. similar to the second set, the pattern, of the, the pattern of this set remarkably similar to the pattern of the first set. Indonesians starting to make a bit of a move after the coaching break, just up in the intensity, a little bit more positive on return of serve. Nats here looking more for the net. And there were five points adrift at 8.13. Oh, there's just two points in it. Oh my goodness, is he all right? Right. Oh! 
that's a very good rally. That one pushed wide, though. But again, a clever change of pace from Nova at the end. Just putting the half 15, smash in, and that just 14. breaking the timing of the Korean girl there, and she's just dragged the shuttle out of the side on that weaker forehand defensive side. Yeah, when she's having to put pace on the defensive shot herself, more of a struggle. Yeah, I thought that was a nasty slip there from Lee Young Day. Most pairs they would have been that rally would have been finished off about six shots so earlier. 15 13. So we're going forward, had to go back for... Seemed to do a full pirouette, and seemed to hit that backhand. I think fan, badminton fans around the world will miss Nova for that type of thing. He's quite an innovative player. He comes up with some different shots and some different angles. He'll be sadly missed on the tour. Service over. 16-14. Doubles pair, Ricky Sabato and Rexy Manaki. They too seem to be very laid back in the early stages of a game and then suddenly could just turn it on and start hitting the winners, start attacking. And I used to, I was big fans of theirs because it was such a dynamic style that they could produce. But I used to get very frustrated in the early stages watching them play. It used to make me very nervous. And if you're an Indonesian fan right now, a similar sort of situation with this Indonesian. Mixed doubles pair. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice interception from Lee Ho Jung. Yes, and over. Service over. Of an age where he would have played a lot with Rexy 15. and Ricky, and uh, certainly will have learned a lot starting off his career with those players. Just asking Nova Woody Anto to get back onto court. Yeah. On the break. the problem she was waiting committed to her forehand defense because that was the natural 16, shot to hit down 17. her forehand side very slow to interchange with her defense
just incredible. A moment of magic. All the way through the rally there, Nova's changing the direction, changing the pace, changing the angles, and that's an incredible shot to finish the rally with. Indonesians back level. Indonesian flag, Indonesian fans. Defensive shot from Lee Ho Jung. Having criticised her defensive play throughout this match, she then produces one of the most outstanding defensive shots I think I've seen. Nova distracted by the shuttle touching the tape there. Two points away now, the Olympic champions from this second game. <laughs> now just the one. 20, game point 17. She has got a very good reach, hasn't she? Using all of her height there to intercept that shuttle. Three game points to send this to a third and deciding game. half-pace smash that did the damage again. She does struggle when she's got to put pace on her 18, defensive shot herself. 20. Yeah, she just tends to plant her feet a little bit in defence and play around the feet rather than moving the feet and the racket together. It's still game points to the Koreans. Oh, yes, this time they convert. The Olympic champions have taken the second game. 21 18. Second game won by Lee Young Day, Lee Hill Young, 21 18. One game all. Well, the reason why they won that Olympic gold medal. Yeah, very, very good fighters. 
말씀한 다 했어? 어? 그러자. 지금 지금 앞에 두게 막판 후반에 몸이 따라가지. 어? 몸이 따라가는 게 됩니다. 자리가 딱 장사가 잡혀야 돼. 어? 팔만 쭉 가면 어떻게 안 되지? 어? 지금 쭉 가. ditanya kan kalau lu dengar kencang itu kan bagus setunya tuh nahan kalau lu dengar kencang siap ke depannya ya atau ditanya di presiden dan dek di kelas itu lebih sih dong kan mas bagus tuh mas bagus dek di kelas serat di situ di situ kan caranya bagus juga dan nahan ya kalau lu nggak nak nak jangan terlalu tinggi sebenarnya kan orang tinggi enak datar emang itu dia ini ya sama depannya udah benar terasa nanti gitu udah benar ya boleh di belakang dokter tanya apa lagi lebih Difficult to interpret that, but I think he was certainly saying you've got to be aware of the racket reach of Lee Ho Jung. Yes, and I think he'll also have been saying that they need to be a lot more concentrated at the start of this set. In both sets so far, they've given big leads away and uh, given their opponents a real seconds. advantage. And I feel that the coach seconds. there will have been really pushing home the point that they need to start with some intensity in this set rather than sit back and let Natsia stay off the net. Final game. Level. Play. So the third and deciding game here in this mixed doubles semi-final. Two-time former world champions Nova Woody Anto and Liliana Natsia are up against the current Olympic champions. Li Ho Jung and Li Yong Dae in a repeat of that Olympic final from Beijing. <laughs> that is superb. Disguise on the drop shot. A change of pace. seen a much more positive start to the third set from the Indonesians. Three, love. I think the big question is whether Nova physically has got uh, has got the legs to actually play 21. A, a 21 point game all the way through with high intensity. By all accounts, he's been winding his training down a little bit in the last few months towards the end of it finishing his career at the end of this month. So that would be my question. I think if he's got if he's got the legs, I think he's got the creativity to upset this Korean pair. Brilliant. That's just great peripheral vision to see the two Koreans. She's got her eye on the shuttle but she knows instinctively that the two Korean players are out of position. So she finds the space beautifully. Four, two. Isolating Lee Ho Jung once again. First of all, getting her to the back and then pressurizing her on her defensive play. Very good play. Nova going left and Natsia going right, making a switch that defensive position that she's been having problems with all the way through the match.
Much greater intensity from the Indonesians at the start of this deciding game. Keeping the pressure on the Koreans all the time during these longer rallies now. That long reach once again. Just managing to get a racket to the shuttle. Over. Four, complete miss <laughs> It had good effect. attacking play again. Again, the switcher attack on the, on the Korean girl there, going inside hip on the first shot and then outside hip on the second shot. The last three rallies have all been very long, very intense. This is just quite interesting now to see if Nova can keep this intensity and this level of physicality throughout this set. Smash. Well, that's an indication. These amazing fans would be pretty happy. No, it's one of his strengths in the men's doubles game, that's for sure. Five point advantage now to the Indonesians. to finish off that rally did Nova Woody Anto and Lilian and that's here but they just couldn't make it count tempted final drop shot and you can see the frustration from Nova Woody Anto Thank you. and now that the match has been in progress for exactly an hour I just wonder Ian about the point you made about whether he's actually got the stamina and he's got the strength in his legs to keep this sort of intensity going. No wonder they're all having a quick tail down, quick gulp of liquid.
the return of serve, the return of the complete serve from Lee Hong Day. And it means that the Indonesians have the advantage, six point advantage to be precise, as the players change ends in this deciding game. Well, we've seen five point advantages whittle the way in the opening game. Oh, but this six point advantage is enough. Yeah, and that really does tell the tale, doesn't it? Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Eleven five. Play. Good attacking power. I just sensed, Ian, that the first rally after the change of ends there was important. So important. The first two or three rallies after the coaching, if you can keep your momentum. After the break, it makes such a difference. It makes it very, very hard for the Koreans here. Deception. I mean, Nova's in full flow now. Full flow. We've seen all the touches that we've seen. I've seen from him over the years. Double world champion, and that's the type of shot that's got him those titles. Oh! Nine point 14. advantage now for the Indonesians. And sure, that's enough. Certainly, if they can keep this sort of form going. Oh, being there, second all England final, oh! finalist two years ago. 15 5. Attempting a very, very difficult shot there. Service over. 6 15. Attempt of a backhand smash. Created a lot of power, but. No point if it goes into the net, but it's a sign of his confidence the fact that he would go for a shot like that. Desperation there from the Koreans trying to flick serve. 17, 8. You have to say from here that I think the Indonesians have just got to keep it very solid on serve and return, and this this should be the end of it. Whoa! Yeah. Leon Bay's lost his way here. 
several errors from him now. injury problems. Well, this has been a phenomenal third game. 12 match points now to the Indonesians. quite frankly destroyed in that final game. 21-8 in favour of the number two seeds, Nova Widianto and Liliana Natsia. Having dropped that second game, I thought perhaps their heads might go down, but in all honesty, the way they approach this Marshall deciding game, Unlike the first two games, they were so positive from the start. And that final delightful cross-court shot from Nova Woodyanto, seeing the gap across court and just calmly playing the shuttle into the open space. And they're through to their second all in low final. Beaten finalists in 2008 lost out to Zheng Bo and Yao Ling. But their confirmation that the former world champions have defeated the current Olympic champions. 21 16, 18 21, 21 8 in the deciding game.